Can I tell you a little bit about the bandhas? This uh, lock, tightening something. You have experience when we do mool band, we are tensing that area, we are tightening that area, we are locking that area. So mool band you experience, Jalandar band you experience. So these are the psychic locks. And what does this do? It does what we have experienced that at one particular point the energy becomes quite intense, quite deep, gets locked, whether it's a perineal area or the throat area. That is the bandhas. And there are three types of bandhas. You have experienced two out of three. The mool band, you have been doing it. The Jalandar band, you have been doing it. The third bandha is the abdominal lock called Udyan band. And when you practice all three bandhas in one practice called Mahabandha. So, three basic bandhas and if you include the fourth one, so that is Mahabandha. And we have to master this. Like Mulban, I can feel, I can make out that now Mulban would be easier for you. For most of you, those who have been practicing it, Balandar, we have to prepare and we have to move to Udyan and the Mulban also. So there are three main bandha, including fourth one, where we have four bandhas. What does it do, the bandhas? As I said, there are, these are the locks. So in our pranic channel, you, you must be knowing the pranic channel, the energy through which the energy flows from Muladhar to Amya. This is our main electric network through which the prana flows from Muladhar up to Amya. So this pathway is your pranic channel. And the middle path is the Susumna path. And in that Susumna path, there are some obstructions, some impediments, which stops your prana flowing upward freely. And these obstacles, obstructions, impediments are called Granthis. Granthis. This is called knots. These are called psychic knots. At three points, there are three Granthis, namely Brahma Granthi, Vishnu Granthi and Rudra Granthi. So there are three psychic knots in our psychic pathway, in the Susumna pathway, which obstructs the flow of prana, the energy and which is very common in all of us in our body, in human body. So many billions of population, but our energy remains blocked. It doesn't move upward. It remains at one place, dormant. And these are the locks, which are obstructions in the flow of the prana along the Susumna Nadi. So now the Brahma Granthi is associated to the Muladhar and the Swadhisthan. That is the first one, the Brahma Granthi, Muladhar and the Swadhisthan, the first two chakras. Manipur and Anahar. Between these two, we have a Granthi, which is called Vishnu Granthi, associated to your these two chakras, Manipur and Anahar. And the third Granthi is Rudra Granthi between your Vishuddhi and Agya. So you can imagine and you can understand now why why and why the practice of Murband and Udyan Band and Jalandar Band and Mahaband is important. We are practicing asanas and I believe even the practice of asana has the impact on the psychic knots. It helps in dissolving the psychic knot of peace. 
But these powerful locks, the bandhas, are specifically given to us from our ancestors to unlock these locks. At this time it is locked. But with regular, consistent practice, with effort, we can unlock these grantis and we can harness the potential which is there within. We can have the prana, the primal force, the energy which is stored at Mooladhar in the form of Kundalini Shakti. We can raise that energy upward and you can have a better life, you can walk at optimal level with full energy, without any tiredness, without any fatigue and you can have a better life, a happy life, healthy life, a fulfilled life and your self growth and spiritual growth will take place. It's all about the locks, the bandhas and the psychic knots, the granthis. Hope this is clear to each one of you. Any question you can put it, I will answer you back.